Yo, 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 it's your boy Dragons of Thunder and I'm back live and direct with another video. Don't forget to go to GrubTerra.com, get your GrubTerra, get your Black Soldier Fly Larvae and use my code Dragons of Thunder 10. Don't forget my Instagram is Dragons of Thunder. Don't forget my Facebook group is Bearded Dragon advanced care and keeping that's my facebook group all of those links will be in the description for you guys so go to the description read it click the links and donate for my time if you feel like it um today's video the topic is bearded dragon cold cold temperatures at night right now i got my baby girl azula azula is a year and eight months old january let's see february march april may uh yeah eight months old so my girl azula is a year and eight months old she's almost ready to breed um her and her and e-ray will be going at it pretty soon then uh my girl naga will be going at it this early summer late spring with uh my boy ang um i'll have some babies soon but anyway, man, let's talk about these cold temperatures. Um, I love this girl, man. Look, look at how beautiful she is. She underrated, man. Like real talk. Um, on her skin, she's a uh, she's a um, she's a uh, crap micro scale. So I can rub up, I can rub up or down on her skin. So I can go up, up her scales. And I can go down her scales without her like her scales don't like she her scales have no you know what I mean like I can just rub up and I can rub down it's no it's no friction I can just go up and down that's how smooth she is she barely has spikes on her legs no spikes at all on her tail this baby girl is gorgeous ain't that right Azula where are you trying to go you looking at daddy she looking at me y'all but anyway man let's get to the topic cold nighttime temperatures i don't know where she's trying to go but cold nighttime temperatures i have my bearded dragons in the garage um downstairs in the garage and um right now during the winter season and here in north texas dallas area it's been getting down to the 20s i think once once or twice 30s a few times 40s a lot um so right now in my garage if I don't have any nighttime heat on, my temps are dropping to around 50 to 38 degrees, depending on the night and depending on the weather. Um, I haven't cut on any heat in the garage, um, and I wanted to see, I wanted to see how low my temps could get. You know what I'm saying, and how low my dragons can take it. We all know genetically modified dragons and fairy tale dragons. They keep dragons outside, you know what I'm saying? Even during the winter months, um, genetically modified dragons is in Vegas. Fairy tale dragons is in Florida. I believe she's in central Florida. Um, anyway, so I wanted to do it with my dragons. So I keep my dragons. They're not directly outside, but they're in the garage. But you all know during the summertime, my dragons are outside getting that sunlight, that real, real sunlight. But anyway, um, I keep them downstairs in the garage. That's where their four by two by twos are um, in my garage. So at nighttime, last year, I used to use um, ceramic heat emitters with the floor space heaters. I had two floor space heaters, one in the front, one on the side, like blowing directly towards my enclosures. And then within the enclosures, I had uh, ceramic heat emitters. This year, no ceramic heat emitters and only one floor heater. Um, I cut the floor heater on when my when the outside temps, they got down to 17, I believe, one night. I cut them on that night. And uh, other than that, man, like when it's 58, 40 degrees outside, one night even, I believe it was like 31 and I didn't cut the floor heater on and um, the dragons did great. Overnight within my garage, the lowest I believe the temperature got down to was like 39, 38 degrees. 
Um, what I will say outside in the wild. Oh, before I go any further, you do not need heat at night if your dragons are in your house. Period, point blank. You don't need no kind of heat at night. If your house temperatures are not dropping below 40 degrees, and the only reason I'm telling y'all that is because I want y'all to be safe. But me, I go lower. If your temps are dropping below 40 degrees, go ahead and use some heat. Other than that, you do not need heat at night. You do not need a red light, a red heat light, or a ceramic, uh, ceramic heat emitter. You don't need either one. Ditch the red light anyway. It's not good for our bearded dragons. Um, if you need heat, use a ceramic heat emitter or a floor heater. Um, but anyway... Like I say, my temps get, I, I believe one night it got down to like 38 in that garage. And I woke up, went down there. Everybody was up basking at the um, at their basking spots, except for Naga. She was still in her, her hot. The boys, Fang and Ang, were basking. My girl Zula was basking. And E-Ray was on his bridge. He wasn't on his uh, basking log, but he was on the bridge. Close enough to the basking area. Um, it takes until about noon to get up to max basking temps during the winter in the garage. So I'm just letting y'all know, man, straight up. You do not look at that girl. She beautiful. She's a beautiful mama. Yes, she is. She beautiful girl. Oh, that's my girl. Zula, man. She, she the real deal, man. She was just giving me kisses. Um, but yeah, you don't need nighttime heat, man. Quit letting the Facebook groups fool you. Quit letting the online stuff fool you. Um, go look at Genetically Modified Dragons channel. His dragons are outside in the winter in Vegas. Fairy tale dragons, like I say, she's in Central Florida, and the temps get low. Even even in a uh, in Australia where they come from, I I I recommend you to go look at the temps in Australia. Go study the temperatures in Australia. And research the temps in the winter, in the winter time in Australia. Um, their winter time is the opposite of ours. So just study the the winter time temps in Australia. Look at their nighttime temps. They drop. You know what I'm saying? They go down to 40s, low 40s, mid 40s, sometimes 30s. I don't think it gets below freezing, but it get pretty cold. You know what I'm saying? On Australia winter nights. Um, those dragons are out in the wild and they burrow into the ground. You know what I'm saying? They get put up somewhere and they stay until the sun come out the next day. Um, so with that being said, you don't need all that heat at night in your enclosure. I, I remember my first year with E-Ray and, and Kafir. At nighttime, I always made sure that they temps was around 85 degrees. Um, and to be honest, I was tripping. I didn't know any better, but uh, I listened to a lot of research online and Facebook groups. But uh, at night, I made sure they temps was at 85, no, no lower. But um, now, man, I don't go for none of that, man. I'm more of, I'm more on an advanced level than most people that I see, and I'm not trying to toot my horn. I'm just being real with the bioactive setups, the temps, even my high temps. Look at my hot temps. My basking spot is around 116 to 122. My ambient hot side is around 100, 105 to 112. You know what I'm saying? The middle of my tank is 95 degrees. The cool side of my tank is 85 degrees. So I'm on an advanced level. And like I say, I got the bioactives going um, with the isopod, spring tails, stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm on some advanced keeping. Look how big this girl is. Even like, I wish you could really see the size of my dragons compared to other dragons. Like when I go hold people's dragons and I feel their dragons, they don't feel nothing like mine. They don't look nothing like my dragons. Like my dragons look different. Like, and I'm just being real. I'm not trying to talk down on nobody's dragon or like I say, toot my horn. But like when I go feel other people's dragons and I'm six I'm 6'4", 260 pounds, so my dragons might look small to you because they're on me or in my hand. I have real, real big hands, like super big hands. Um, so my dragons might look small to you. 
but they're not. They're big. E Ray is 22 inches. This girl is 19 inches. Uh, Naga, I think, is 17 and a half. I haven't measured her in like four months, so she might be longer. And and my dragons are pretty heavy. This girl is, uh, I believe, the last. I haven't met, weighed her in a while, but she was 400 and I think 460 some grams or 50. I can't remember. She might have been almost five. I can't remember, man. I have to reweigh them. I don't even weigh them or measure them no more just because how advanced I am. Now, let's go back to the heat, and I'm going to get out of here. Um, nighttime heat. You don't need it. Red, infrared light, red light, red heat, bad for your dragon. Purple moonlight, black light, bad for your dragon. Give them black, dark night. Give them darkness. They need darkness. They don't need any lights in their tank at night. They do not need any heat. Listen to me. If your temps aren't dropping below 40 degrees, uh, don't use heat. You know what I'm saying? At night. Um, I use heat after maybe 30, 38, 40, somewhere around there. A matter of fact, I'm going to tell y'all uh, 50 degrees. You do not need to use heat until about 50 degrees. And I'm just saying that to be on the safe side because I don't know what kind of health y'all's dragons are in. Um, it matters about the health of your dragon, too. So with me, I go down to 38, 40 degrees because I understand and I know the health of my dragons. If you have an unhealthy dragon and you dropping down that low, then you might have a problem. So remember that. Um, and I hope y'all watched it to this point because that's real. Um, anyway, you don't need nighttime heat until 50 degrees. No lights. Stop it, man. For real. Um a lot of people out there say 65 degrees, 70 degrees at night. It's baloney, man. It really is. Um, even leaving your bearded dragons out of the enclosure inside your home at 68, 70 degrees, you can do it up to four or five, six hours. You know what I'm saying? As long as your dragon getting the right UVB, right vitamins and minerals, and right meals, your dragon will be fine. Even if you skip a day or two with food, Yo, dragon should be fine. Um, my dragon get outside sun even during the winter. Like if it's 60 degrees or 50 or 70 degrees outside and the sun is beaming, I'm taking my dragons outside. We finna go get some sun. So yeah, my dragons is on a whole nother level and my care is on a whole nother level. But I wanted to drop this video for y'all and uh, let y'all know what was good and what was real and what was true about the nighttime heat. So. Like I say in the beginning of the video, man, y'all know I got the Grub Terra. My Instagram, go follow it. Um, my Bearded Dragon group on Facebook is Bearded Dragon Advanced Care and Keeping. Go, go read the description, hit the links. Mess with your boy, man. If you need isopods or springtails for your bioactive tanks, hit me up. I got you. If you're, if you're in the local area of Dallas, Fort Worth, I got a... Uh, terrariums you know what i'm saying on deck four by two by twos or bigger um if you need it shipped out it's kind of costly if you're going to the east or west coast or way up top but uh down here in the south area midwest shipping ain't bad but uh thrash the like pound and subscribe share my videos man other than that man i'm out of 5000 and it's your boy dragons of thunder man guanguala